And it just seems to me, and I, I don't want to pursue this further, but it just does seem to me that uh, the president isn't denying the validity of the action of mass demonstration, of what has taken place on the part of, of, of your movement, Mr. Walker, or your movement, uh, Mr. Farmer, but rather is saying this must now be institutionalized, which is what I should imagine you gentlemen would want. Well, you, can't, you can't then <coughs> compare the uh, revolt of farmers with the, with the revolt of black people in this country, because if the farmers are revolting over more or less corn, uh, which is in no way involves the Constitution or, or what this country is supposed to stand for, but the black man in this country is supposed to be uh, getting freedom. The country is supposed to be based on that. Uh, democracy, freedom, justice, equality, and all that stuff that they teach us in school. And uh, now, why should the black man have to go to court to get freedom when a white man in this country is free when he's born? Why should the black man need some legislation to prove that he's a human being, when you don't need any legislation to prove that whites are human beings. So I make this point because, to come right back to my initial statement at the outside of the program, you will never get real freedom and recognition between black and white people in this country without destroying the country, without destroying the present political system, without destroying the present economic system, without rewriting the entire Constitution. It will be a complete destruction of everything that America supposedly stands for before a white man in this country will recognize a black man as something on the same level with himself. And this is why the Honorable Elijah Muhammad teaches us that the best way to solve the problem is complete separation. Let the black man, those of our people in this country who want to, have a country of our own where we can go and stand on our own feet and solve our own problems and not have to continue going to court or waiting for some politician to legislate for another 100, 100 or two years to prove that we're human beings. Mr. Mr. Moderator, I've discussed this with Minister Malcolm before, and uh, after seeing Mississippi and Alabama close up, I'd be glad to give him those states if it were within my power to do so. Yet, as I, I think uh, I've said before, Why Minister Malcolm, Alabama? as I've said before, Minister Malcolm, the thing that bothers me about your idea of a black nation within a nation, presumably, if it can be affected them, is that if the white man hates us as much as you say he does, what a target that makes we were all together. Does, all right. His deeds okay, but now let's see. Okay, if he hates us that much, then I would hate to be all gathered in one place. I'd rather be dispersed throughout this nation. He could drop one controlled atom bomb and wipe us out. He could uh, strangle us with a net of... He's wiping you out. He, he wiped could out strangle us. Secretary May, I the finish? May I finish? He certainly Not did. <laughs> but he could strangle us with an economic... L noose you around the world. Are strangled already? All right. Your own I, gentlemen, I would rather be, I would rather be dispersed, Minister Malcolm, and I think then I would make a poor target. You know, um, uh, if you're all together, one gun can shoot you. Harlem is all but together. Scattered. Washington, D.C. is already right, becoming that all. Is, that Washington, D.C. has already become an all-black city. This is why Harlem is being strangled economically, I think, now, and this is why this summer we plan to have task force people, volunteers, working in key sections like Harlem, the Bedford-Stuyvesant area, and uh, Newark, New Jersey, to tackle these slums and to organize the tenants for possible rent strikes against the terrible conditions that exist there. 